This is the most famous mall in Los Angeles and I'm gonna show you around. I'm gonna turn the camera around so you can see what I can see. This is the Grove in Los Angeles at the Farmer's Market. And why is it the most famous in Los Angeles? Well, because it is right next to CBS Studios and I think more movies and TV shows and news crews have been here to show off shopping malls than any other. Uh, in fact, the TV show Extra was filmed here for a couple years on the lawn that we're gonna get to in just a moment. The other unique thing about this shopping mall is it's actually, it's quite small as far as malls go, but it is one of America's most profitable malls. That's right, most profitable malls. How is it most profitable? Well, the statistics on their website say that 90% of everybody that comes here actually buys something, which is interesting. Uh, I tend not to, but uh, I, what I really like about this mall is it is my favorite kind of like hangout mall, like mall just to like, come to and experience and people watch. So if you're coming to LA and looking for a really iconic part of LA, this place is definitely it, as some place you've likely seen on TV or in the movies. It was built in 2002, so it's just a little over 20 years old. And the architecture that you see is a art deco architecture that the developers really try to model after other parts of Los Angeles, other historic buildings, other historic alleys, so that when you're walking around here, it really feels like a little microcosm of LA. Something that is really neat, that is not running at this moment, uh, but is here. They have this little trolley, this trolley depot back here, where this trolley runs on these tracks. It's a two-story trolley, and you can take a ride through the mall for free, uh, when it runs, but it doesn't run all the time. I shot this a little later in the day when the trolley was actually running just so you could see what it looks like because this really is one of the coolest parts of this mall and they narrate it as you go around. The best seat definitely on the second floor. Make sure to get one in the direction of travel. Uh, all right, so there's a few of these little food eateries that are here. There's a juice place, there's a haagen -Dazs. There is a uh, coffee shop, there's a Wetzel's Pretzels, but related to the coffee shop, this coffee shop is one of OC Girl's favorites uh, uh, in this little white building. Okay, there's a, the grassy area that they hold you extra used to film on. They are preparing for the Easter Bunny coming soon. That's right. Other times when they're not preparing for the Easter Bunny, you can actually sit out and picnic in that grassy area. Nordstrom's is the big anchor tenant. There's also a uh, little Los Angeles Police Department box right here. And like to make it feel like LA or Paris, something like that, they've got street side dining that you can sit outside and dine. There's an AMC movie theater and a really amazing Apple store. Like, oh my gosh, take a look at this store. It's got like trees on the inside and a mirrored ceiling. And of course they're trying to advertise the Vision Pros, the newest thing from Apple. Uh, okay, this little fountain here in the middle was designed by the same people that designed the Bellagio fountains. It does some fountain shows and some music. That's pretty cool. And here's a shot of that fountain when the lights are on at night. You can see it's a lot more impressive when the lights are on. You see the parking structure in the back? 3,500 parking spaces in the back. Quite expensive parking structure. Uh, no free parking here. Plan to empty your wallets to park at uh, this place. But I think you know, that's another way that they, they make their money. They're like, even if you don't buy something, we're gonna make money on you in the parking structure. Very nice uh, restrooms though. They're super clean and I like them quite a bit. They also have valet parking as a shopping mall, uh, which not many shopping malls have valet parking. They've got like red carpet in the parking structure. It is uh, a very unique parking experience. That's for sure. Barnes & Noble bookstore still has a location up here. There's a Cheesecake Factory up on the second floor of this building and uh, <clears throat> an Hermes around the corner. Being like LA, they've got a nice column right here with, you know, this one where like, is this LA? I mean, I guess LA back in the day had these sorts of things, but you don't really see them on the public streets all that much anymore. 
or at least without graffiti. This is like the Disney version of Los Angeles where everything is clean and manicured. We go down this little alley. This is very reminiscent of a street along Rodeo Drive. There's a little side alley on Rodeo Drive that I think this is supposed to make you think of. There's little places you can sit on the left and have your coffee or tea. The red thing on the right is the Gucci that's reopening. There's this La La Land. It's LA, right? Los Angeles. This La La Land right here is a very iconic um, coffee tea shop in here. Like everything's white and yellow. So this is definitely my coffee shop because you can get like a smiley face cup right there. You get a smiley face mug. And uh, there's like a cool chandelier up on the top too. That's one of my favorite stores, the drinks. They're not that epically amazing, uh, but the place is cool. All right, I'm gonna show you in the map where we've walked. Uh, so that's the little lake, that's the grassy area. Here's the big parking structure. We're down this Bow Street. I wanna show you in the parking garage. We're not gonna walk around the whole parking garage, but just to show you the red carpet that I was telling you about. Uh, this is like the side entrance to the parking garage, two main entrances, but you can see in here the red carpet in the parking garage, the valet parking, restrooms, concierge back there. There's even like little, you know, kind of like chandeliers and big chandeliers over that way. Uh, and like the parking for regular people starts on the third floor. You can pay for premium parking on the second floor uh, or valet parking on the ground floor. I think it's like $5 an hour to start and then after three hours it starts like ratcheting up even more and more per, per hour uh, over this way. We've got some nice yellow flowers to go with this yellow coffee and tea shop. And there's a C's Candies, which, you know, I feel like maybe isn't like super cool anymore, but they still have like legitimately good chocolates. This place, Chill, since 93, is a, I'm gonna call it like Italian pizza and sandwich place. Of course pizza's Italian. It's like Italian style pizza instead of American style pizza. Uh, this is the big, one of the big entrances to the parking structure. It's LA, so there's like ads and billboards everywhere you go. Uh, and uh, here we'll, pop our head in this place. It's just chill since 93. It's kind of like a funky like looking little place. Sandwiches, ham and cheese, pizzas, pepperoni. Not New York style. Again, kind of that Italian style. So I mentioned this is near CBS and you can't actually see the building on the walk. Uh, well, you can see the building, but you can't, you can't actually see in it. But if you could, CBS Studios is just back over this way. And if we turn around here, this will bring us to uh, the other main part that we didn't walk down, and then we can see the entrance to the farmer's market. The definitely like the most hopping time to come here, Friday, Saturday nights, but this place is like busy all day, like all day, and like many shopping malls, you'd come at like noon on a weekday and nobody's here, but because this place is definitely a tourist destination and tourist hotspot, you will see people here all the time at all hours. On the left, I'm walking by this place called Backcountry. It's like a, um, what, hike, hiking supply type store, uh, which has a full service bike shop inside. This shows us back down that main walkway that we walked down. As we look down here, what else didn't we see this way? There's Sephora, a Lululemon, uh, and some things to stop cars or stop that trolley. And then just down this way is the farmer's market. But if you wanna see that, I've actually broken out into a separate video. As soon as that video is done, I'm gonna put a link to it right here. If you're coming to LA and you like shopping malls, one of my other favorites is Westfield Century City. You can check that out right here. It has my favorite huge Italian supermarket in Los Angeles. As usual, I won't say goodbye because I'll see you in one of those videos.